Hello, everybody. It's Justin Epstein. Welcome to a mindful moment. I just wanted to share with you today something from uh, this wonderful book, One Mind, by Dr. Larry Dossey. And it's in his chapter on saving others. And he, it's, a, it's a fascinating story and chapter about really the goodness of, of people that comes out in certain situations. For instance, you might remember the story in January 2nd, 2007 of Wesley Autry, a 50-year-old African-American construction worker and Navy veteran who was waiting for a subway train in Manhattan with his two daughters. And he saw this man, uh, Cameron Helopeter, 20 years of age, having a seizure. And uh, the, the young man enabled, was able to get up on his feet, but then he stumbled and fell onto the train tracks. Well, uh, Wesley saw the lights of the train approaching, and in that moment, he jumped down and wanting to help the fellow off of the tracks, and he realized he didn't have time, so he, he put his body over top of him and uh, managed to push the man down a little bit into the drainage ditch beneath the tracks, and the train, uh, the driver of the train tried to stop, but it, it still went like five cars over them. And it was so close that uh, Wesley had some, some stuff on his cap from the train beneath him. And, you know, what, what prompts a person to take a risk like that, to jump in to help someone at the risk of his own life? And that's what uh, Dr. Dossey addresses when he was... He told the New York Times, Autry told the New York Times, I don't feel like I did something spectacular. I just saw one, someone who needed help. I did what I felt was right. And he, as a result, he was on morning news programs, evening talk shows. He received all kinds of awards and scholarships for his kids and and all kinds of things for what he did. He was a guest at the 2007 State of the Union Address to the U.S. Congress, where he received a standing ovation. CNN uh, named him the CNN hero, and so on. But he did it because it was natural for him to want to do that. And Dr. Dossey uh, explores that idea and basically says that the reason people give their lives or risk their lives to help others is because inside themselves they sense that unity, that oneness with the person. They lose that sense of separateness that's necessary in this time space uh, situation that we're involved in, the sense of separateness. But underneath the separateness is this one mind, this one presence. And he says that what happens is they lose their sense of separateness and feel their connection and oneness with the other individual. And so they, when they help another and risk their lives for another, they're really helping themselves because they are the other and the other is them. And I think that's, I think that's true. That's an amazing uh, thing that happens. So going against evolutionary biologists who have believed that we're just programmed for survival and reproduction and that everything a human being does is for the purpose of you know, how does it contribute to one's survival and so on and so forth? Well, this man had no thought of that. He just did instinctually risk his life and got in, got in there to help that person. 
and I think this this uh, this speaks of our true nature as spiritual beings. Also, Dr. Dossie tells his own story as a bat battalion surgeon in Vietnam in 1968 and 69, where he was uh, he was out in the boondocks uh, with some barbed wire and sandbags and every many times he had to risk his life to to help young people in that war one time a helicopter had crashed and he could hear it it was near where he was camped out and he ran to the helicopter and there the helicopter was encircled by other soldiers who were afraid that it was going to blow up and it was upside down and inside was the the pilot and he was in pain and he was trapped and Dossie who had before entering the war was not a risk taker and he had thought he would never risk his life because he thought of his family and people who knew him and he he felt like a responsibility to not take any unnecessary risks well he found himself going to that chopper even though he could smell fuel dripping and uh getting the door open cutting the seat belts on the pilot and uh he had a an, an assistant help him get the guy out of the helicopter they they treated him they put him in a, a another helicopter to fly him to get help you know and he says he can still smell that fuel and and he he agrees the reason he he went beyond what he thought was natural for him and take a risk on his life is because he felt that sense of oneness and i'm sure it was beyond the thought and i bet we all in times in our life when we hear a story and we we tear up or we we feel compassion for someone um but that's what's happening we're sensing our our oneness um, and uh, so I think this is an inspiring way to thing to remember because in crises people often forget their sense of separateness and go to the aid of of the people involved and I think we've seen that in our world today along with the, the other craziness but we've also seen lots of examples of the higher nature that level of compassion of the spirit coming out so that's my mindful moment for today and i thank you for uh watching today oh there goes the computer uh and something for us to remember and be inspired by thanks for joining me and i look forward to seeing you for another mindful moment have a great great rest of the day Thanks for joining me for a mindful moment. Every week, we upload new videos of mindful moments to inspire and empower you on your spiritual journey. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel so that you can experience more mindful moments as they go live. Also, click on the list above and you will see other videos of mindful moments so that you can watch and join me for a mindful moment on your own time, anytime.